Thank you very much, Ms. Uh, Concora. The Youth uh, Justice Strategy 2021-2027 by Minister Brown is presented as a comprehensive plan to address youth crime and provide support for vulnerable young individuals. However, critical examination of the strategy raises concerns about its effectiveness and potential implications. And, and you know, when we're talking about vulnerable young people, we can write uh, all the documents in the whole world. We can, but we must look after them. The young people that are on the ground, the young people that are trying their best. And I see that recently in the, in the West Cork Garda Youth Awards. Uh, when I was in the West Cork Hotel, I see firsthand the great young people that are out there, and they need to be commended for their efforts and their, what they're doing in their community. And if we can encourage them to do that, we won't be having to write half the paperwork here in this country. Uh, and I commend each and every one. Um, I've tried to involve myself in the Garda Youth Awards uh, through the Community Arts for many years and as my colleagues, and I'd like to congratulate uh, uh, Caitlin O'Sullivan, Baltine Golian, amongst others, who won awards for their works, with, um, and only for the Garda Youth Awards. These young people would go unnoticed, Minister. And the same goes for uh, those in communities who put uh, activities for our young people. I think of Faroiga um, and, and the youth, they get involved, and the Kinsale Support Services, uh, known better as K uh, KYSS, uh, what they do for their young people and get very little uh, commendation for that in any uh, forum. And I'd like to uh, make sure that they're, they're not gone uh, unnoticed as such. But also, private individuals like Brendan Piper and Piper Sunfair in Kinsale, who have catered for our youth from all over Cork County can say it for decades. I would ask you, Minister, maybe to intervene here, or, or one, uh, your department, in any way you can, to get the fun fair up and running again for our young people, as they were asked to, uh, to move uh, Piper's Wharf from where they were in Conceal and did so, and, the, and, and did so peacefully, and re uh, requested that they could go back, and now they're not allowed back by the Council, one way or the other. Several protests later, packing Conceal, and now more, to, more protests to come ahead in the next few weeks. And I thought it was sad. Uh, to hear a councillor on the radio the other day blaming everybody else but themselves in relation to this, saying uh, that it, it, the only way they do something for pipers and conceal is if they get an apology. So that's an astonishing way for any councillors to act. Uh, it really is the sting from a dying bee. We need to be working with our youth. S uh, things like pipers and all that were, were brilliant to, to the young people in conceal, don't through for, for, for decades. And I'd like you to maybe intervene in this um, uh, and, 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 and not to have council seeking apologies. Only people willing to work and, and put forward a solution to keep our young people, our young people active and their minds active. Uh, there's jobs at risk here, uh, enjoyment at risk here, and that should uh, come above anybody's ego. Um,